superstars. Sometimes they razzle-dazzle us. Sometimes we get all excited about them. But as a matter of fact, most of these guys can be manic depressive or bipolar. So today we have one of those superstars, Ducati Panigale 1299S. So being a superstar, especially for a motorcycle, is not that easy. It has to have that superstar heart. That's why Ducati planted this huge lump of an engine. It's about 1285 cc and it provides about 205 bhp at the crank and nearly 180 bhp at the back wheel, which is a quite a feat by itself. But that's not all. More important numbers are about the service interval, which is about 24,000 kilometers, which is quite an achievement for an engine with that much performance and which is coming from Italy. Now, this engine has some peculiar advantages compared to the old Ducati engines. It is using cam chain instead of belt. Well, you can feel the tension and also the accuracy of this engine while riding it. It's like riding on an edge of a knife. Handling that much power requires a nice set of chassis, isn't it? But the peculiarity of this bike is also that it doesn't have a chassis. It has this engine and we have a steering column and also the swing arm bolted onto the engine block. Well, this, this has some advantages and it used to have some disadvantages. The advantage is it's really lightweight. I mean, everything included in this bike gives us about 190 kilograms of weight. It is lighter than all the opposition currently in the world. And also, with that much power, it requires a lot of electronics to contain them and to be able to use them properly. Now, on that aspect, Ducati gave us something like a space rocket. We have traction control with eight levels. We have inertial movement unit. We have accelerometers and gyroscopes, which, is, which are measuring the movement of this bike all the time. We have suspensions which are working according to all the movements of this bike. We also have engine braking control, three levels on that thing. We have Ducati wheelie control, it's a bike that has traction control and you can wheelie it. We have levels of ABS, we have riding modes, we have every imaginable electronic gadget on this thing. With that much electronic help and with that much refinement, this bike gives the sensation of a secret agent where you can get in all kinds of trouble and get out of it without a scratch. Elbiselada. Altın elbise lava.
Not only that, it also has quick shifter, which is working up and down. And while you are going down without clutch, it blips by itself. So that gives the impression of like, you are blipping the throttle by yourself. Things that we didn't like on this bike, the mirrors. On the 11.99, they put those mirrors which were folding. Now, on the higher speeds, when you're going about 200 kilometers per hour, the mirrors used to fold by themselves. So, because of that, Ducati opted on 12.99 to put these unfoldable mirrors, which are easily broken, well, we broke on that bike five times, so that's a, that's a concern. Another major concern is the slim fit of this bike. Well, it is so thin, it's really hard for a man of my size, for a human being or human being of my size, to hold this with our knees and ride it at the same, same time. Well, with the brakes of Brembo M50, when we apply them, it's really tough for me to, to hold it and not to crush my balls. Ducati 1299 Panigale S. It's a bike that they put everything imaginable each and every technology imaginable on this thing. I can't ask for anything more on this bike. That's why it's like dancing with a beautiful lady and whenever you touch her belly or her buttocks, she just moves in the way you want. So it's moving in perfect harmony and you can impress yourself and your friends by just opening the throttle.